Contractors is one of the best options for VR games if you want to maximise the fun that you have. Its mechanics call for a fast paced environment that just creates really enjoyable gameplay. Oh my god. I don't know whether I died from being shot or because I got hit in the face by the recoil. What makes Contractors stand out though is the mods you can play in it, ranging from huge overhauls to maps that are no bigger than just an arena. Hang on lads, there's a couple of scallywags in the gulag. Each mod is impressive in its own right, some of course being those mass transformations. Those ones are on their own tier of awesome, they just make you feel like you are in a completely different game. Get him, get him. I didn't think Adroidica and three Dooku's would be chasing Anakin. These mods here are ranked in how much fun they are, how impressive they are, the work that's gone into them and their level of content as well, so you know how likely you are to continue to play them time after time. You may agree with me, you may disagree with me, but whatever the answer is, just let me know down below. Oh, I've died. Oh, 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 I'm dead. At number 10 is the LEGO Star Wars mod. As one of the newer mods on the list, this comes under the loadout section. It adds two new contractors factions in the form of the clones and the battle droids, but in their more LEGO plasticky formats. Oh my god, my hands are massive. Why is there a fish where Jabba's supposed to be set? Oh, and no, I've just fallen in. Oh, the droid is cool. You can actually see the arms when you're a droid. The mod also makes use of the LEGO weapons we are so used to seeing in the iconic LEGO games, including the OG Red Stud Blasters from the original games, which can be used by either side. <laughs> this is awesome. It's so... why is it so massive? And of course, the chef's kiss of this mod is when you defeat an enemy, they actually break apart and make the sounds from the game. And it's that little detail which makes this mod so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I made this. Damn, I didn't realise they made the OG sound when you died. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. At number 9 is another loadout change in the form of the Fallout New Vegas mod. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. See, so take that, um, strangely well-armed Legion member. This mod gives you the choice of playing as the NCR or the Legion, each with two different classes, the Fighter and the Warrior, for you to use. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. As well as the textured models from the game, it also gives you access to a whole host of weapons from the New Vegas game. From ranged to melee to explosive, there are plenty of combinations for you to try, but you can probably guess what my first choice was. Ooh. Shot. Down. At number 8 is the COD Z mod. This is one that really plays on the nostalgia of the old Call of Duty games, giving you access to the original Kino and Nactor and Totem maps. Oh, I've spawned into this alone and I feel like I'm about to suffer but Uh oh, that's not good. That's already a terrible start. Um, have I got a knife? I do. That took him a second to die there. This mod is a fantastic example of those that appear to be whole new games. The implementation is basically seamless, and all the trimmings of COD Zombies can be found in the game as well. Well, at least in VR I can actually smack somebody for not buying a door. How do I revive someone? How do I revive you? I don't know how to revive it. Wall weapons, perks, the mystery boxes, even the ray gun is up for grabs for you and your friends to play with. There are even custom made community maps that support the zombies game mode, so you might find yourself fighting zombies in the strangest environment you've ever seen. Well, the uh, crusty crab seems to have attracted some new clients out. Oh, I've got a spatula as my knife. At number 7 on the list, we have the Contractors Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. At first glance, this may just be a simple reskin of the original Contractors game, though a deeper dive brings so much more. You thought I was playing today. A Kimbo? I can run a Kimbo too? I might put this up higher, you know. Along with the nostalgic weapon selection, the mod also brings pieces of the game that make Call of Duty what it is, the announcers, the camos, even using an RPG as a secondary weapon. Let's have... 
blue tiger. How effective are these flashbangs? I really want to find out. Oh, I ran out too late. Oh my god, my eyes, my ears. I feel bad for every guy I've ever flashbanged in COD. Oh, now you know I'm hitting someone with the RPG. How is... Does it take multiple hits from an RPG? Apparently... What the hell? What the hell? This mod really surprised me. Going into it, I thought it would just be a simple reskin, as I said, but I found myself unable to put it down. It was so much fun. Switching to your pistols faster than what is this? Here's my target. Come here, boy. You find yourself playing this mod like you would play a COD game with almost no real thought to it, but sometimes that just about pays off. I got him! Ah, I got him! Get the camera! Get the camera! The next mod at number 6 is the Titanfall mod. This mod is one that really puts emphasis on the movement side of contractors, sometimes a little bit more than necessary, but that's okay. Wolf riding in VR is actually a lot of fun. I want to can I jump from there to there. Oh, no need. No need. As well as the movement, you also have access to abilities much like in the Titanfall games. These appear as classes, being the Stim class and the Cloak class. Huh. Um. <laughs> it, it, this is so weird to watch. Like, I've got a skin, but I don't. How could he see me? I thought, am I not invisible? The cloak works as you imagine, makes you invisible, and the stim gives you a temporary speed boost, which isn't necessary really, but makes for a whole lot more fun. <laughs> oh, wait, did I, <laughs> did I just start going back along the wall? Absolutely styled on. Sometimes it's too hard to style on people. I can see why people like this mod. This is insane. Oh my god! <laughs> with these classes, whole new loadouts can be made with the entirely new weapons brought in from the Titanfall games, giving both a fresh new look and a whole new experience when put together with those classes. And I'm out of there as quickly as I arrived. I'm out of there as quickly as I arrived. <laughs> and the final part of my favourite section in this mod is the wall running. Combining this with those classes and the weapons and it makes for a truly new experience. That also increases the skill gap as well. I can imagine the best players of this mod move like nothing I've ever seen. These gamers aren't going to expect this. Uh oh, <laughs> they expected it. They <laughs> Call this one the Spanish Inquisition. I'm so glad I recorded that. I'm so glad I recorded that. Right. At number five, you have one of the more popular game altering mods, being Gun Smoke and Charm. This mod alters how the game is played entirely, opening the door for a whole new experience to be had. Ah, he's in there. It adds new weapons, new things that go boom, and a whole bunch of fun. As a great big fat panda once said, Skadoosh. Wow, that came out really short. This mod, though relatively simple, adds a lot to the game and opens the opportunity for new playstyles with its shorter TTK and a more fast paced environment for players to have. More guns, more bullets, more death, more DACA. More. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, he disappeared. Somebody once told me that there was a finite amount of DACA on the world. This is, of course. Com this is, of course, complete rubbish. 
There is never enough in the world. It plays much like the hardcore mode for Call of Duty, where realistically more care is needed as you traverse the maps, but let's be honest here, you just want to use the grenade launcher. For those who can't stand that though, there is a version of the mod that doesn't include it. I got him anyway. Don't need a grenade launcher, don't need a sniper rifle. I'm insane, I can close the game now, it's done, it's done, you know what, away, away with that. What the hell? I have so many questions. I have so many questions about that interaction. The mod that takes the number 4 spot goes to the PMC or the Escape from Contractors mod, and is one of the more vanilla overhauls that you can grab on the mod page that is in keeping with the Contractors aesthetic. Oh. Sorry, that was a friendly. Oh, and he's just been killed. The mod itself, as you can probably figure out yourself, is inspired by Escape from Tarkov and takes dozens of systems from the game and puts them into contractors. Yeah, that's close enough to a scout weapon. This way I can, you know, sit in a bush and it can be totally acceptable. The mod is perfect for those looking for more of a challenge, especially in terms of self-preservation. You're provided with multiple new healing items to let you tend to your needs whenever you have to. Well, I may not be able to find one of these in Tarkov, but at least I now know what an RSS looks like. I feel like in this game, unless you're like a trauma surgeon, you're basically just going to die with one hit. There's a guy. Yeah, you know what? I think he found me as well. Oh my god. That was scary. That was really scary. Before I talk about the top three, there are some honourable mentions of mods that have appeared on my page every time that didn't quite make the list. The first being the Pirates mod. It does what it says on the tin and lets you just be a pirate in contractors, giving you flintlock weapons and a cutlass for you to have some good old fashioned swashbuckling against a fully armed mercenary. Have that ye scallywag. What I like about this mod is that it's not really been touched on as much as the others, and although has its own quirks, can be really good fun to use. Four scallywags break into my house. Nor, as I say, as I fire at them, but it's smoothbore and it nails the neighbour's parrot. Oh no. Oh no, that's not loaded either. Oh no. Oh, I would be the shittest pirate. Oh my god. Allergic to dying. The oh, second honourable mention comes in the form of the Revolutionary War mod. Oh my god, the hand textures are insane. Never has the right to bear arms been more prevalent. The mod lets you channel your inner red coat and really feel what it's like to be shot at with a solid lead ball on the battlefield. Washington, sir, the red coats are taking the Mackies. Get away from my McChicken. Present. Fire. Oh, I missed. Oh, what? How does a solid lead ball not do any damage to you, sir? I'll have you done for witchcraft. But of course, with the British government. I think. So you've got to fix a pothole first. The first of our final three mods is the Contractor's Halo mod. This is a complete overhaul of sounds, reticles, guns. It is the perfect Halo in VR experience. Come here, split lip, I've got a present for you. Oh, double kill. Oh. The mod brings weapons from both the UNSC and the Covenant and also brings a plethora of Halo maps to fully give in to that endless replayability and that full experience. Chief, what are you doing? Sir, cranking 90s. Oh shit. Unfortunately, being a split lip hasn't been implemented into the game though, so you've got to deal with these guys, the standard contractor's enemies. This mod is no longer as active as some others on this list, but it doesn't stop it from being one of the best mods to grace the contractor's mod page. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. 
It's a free for all, but only one of us gets Cortana. So I found out that if you continually hit the reload button, you can just keep firing. Which definitely isn't broken and isn't something I'm abusing. See, this guy's fine. On to number two, the runner-up spot is occupied by a mod that transcends when it comes to what can be achieved on modding, and that is the TF2 mod. <laughs> what on earth is that? Burn! 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 Very few times does a mod impress me to the point where I could be convinced it is a whole new game. This mod feels like someone just picked up TF2 and placed it into a VR headset and just said, get on with it. Help. Somebody. Help. <laughs> no. I'm all alone. Almost every class from TF2 is playable. Yes, they know about the sniper. No, I don't know when it's coming out either. With those classes, their mechanics are fully fleshed out too, meaning you do not miss out on any of the fun that each of these classes would provide on the desktop version. Wahey, hey, wah hey, winner, winner. Burn everything, burn everything. Oh, I'm out of ammo. What impresses me most about this particular mod are the little things inside it. The voices, the game's narrator, the little pre-round loading screen you get. Each little aspect from the original game has been meticulously thought out, even down to the cosmetics that you can get on some of the characters. Let's go with the chef's hat. I feel like we're going to be cooking up some good stuff today. Oh, that, yeah. I should have expected that. It doesn't stop there either, they've even gone as far as to seamlessly place the payload game into VR2. Nothing can stop this dev team. Now the top two mods were very difficult to choose from, they're both equally impressive but the number one just barely slides into the top spot for me, and those who play Contractors probably expected this. We started with LEGO Star Wars, now we end on the fully fledged Star Wars Battlefront mod for Contractors. Oh no, that's sick. That was a mm -hmm. fucking triple with a grenade. Plain and simply Star Wars in VR, hey. this mod takes dozens of maps from the iconic Battlefront 2 game and lets you play across the Star Wars universe as clones, battle droids, oh, even Jedi that's or cool. Sith are up for grabs. Oh. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm out of there. Bye, Dooku. <laughs> this mod implements the old class system into the warning contractors, giving you a wide variety of playstyles from heavy to officer to specialist, even giving you control of some of the more iconic classics like the Jet Troopers, Joydikas, even the Galactic Marine. Oh shit, that's the... Out of here. Nope. Bye bye. Watch this. Oh no. Oh no no no. <laughs> mm, no, no Just no. dip out of there so quickly. Oh shit, I hit oh. him in real life. Like in the classic 2007 game, get enough points and you can rule oh, over the God. battlefield as either Anakin Skywalker or Count Dooku, which is just one hell of an experience when put into VR. The size of this mod and its replayability, like the previous mod on the list, is just beyond impressive. New maps and additions are being released so often and recently the dev team have even added the space battles that made the 2007 game so iconic. The amount of like nostalgia I'm getting as I walk around. Oh, this is this is awesome. You've even got R2 in there. I love how it's third person as well. It's <laughs> it's keeping in it's, it's keeping in theme. Oh, is this supposed to be first person? I think it is. This kind of just makes you feel like you're Superman. Oh, it's a that's a big planet. It is a glorious addition to Contractors, and I think it's pure size and just how much content there actually is, is why I placed it at the number one spot. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh! I am now falling through space. 
Let me know if you agree with this list, let me know which one your favourite is. This game is one that has been integral to my channel, so I'm very grateful for all the devs and their communities. Each one of these mods is just fantastic in their own way, and I urge you to play every single one of them. Hang on lads, there's a couple of scallywags in the gulag. On that, I thank you for watching once again. I recently hit that 1000 subscriber milestone, which is an achievement, absolutely. So I do thank everyone who has subscribed, liked, even just clicked on whatever this content is at the moment. A like and a subscribe are never needed, but they are always, always appreciated. And I will see you next week when I might actually get a decent idea for a video. Goodbye.